Hello guys, welcome to the course of Kick PHA 4 API Development. This is our very first video. Inside this video, everyone asks that what we will learn inside this course. So here, we will discuss only the necessary points that what actually we are going to cover inside, inside this entire series of Kick PHA 4 API Development. If I back to slide, so, as the name suggests of this course that this is a Kick PHP 4 API development, so obviously we are going to learn the complete set of instructions and code by the help of that we can create our APIs. So inside this course, we will go step by step. So inside this course, we will do our API creation in two phases. In the first phase, we create our first set of APIs which does not require any authentication. We don't need any authentication inside our first phase development, but in second phase of API development, we will include the concept of auth component as well as JWT token value. So while covering this first phase API development, also inside the second phase of API development, we will understand about each concept of API creation. Like what is our structure for API development, how can we set our API extension and in this course we'll see the API extensions as XML format as well as JSON format. Also, inside this second phase of API development, we will understand the basic concept of JWT token, what it means, how basically we configure inside the, our application and finally, what will be the structure that so that we can use easily the JWT token value inside our APIs. So by the combination of first phase of API development and second phase, I hopefully say that you are going to learn the complete set of instructions as well as the programming code of Cake PHE 4 including your in, in your skill sets and you are going to develop yourself as a standalone API developer inside Cake PHE framework. And all these things we will do inside the latest version of Cake PHP that is version number 4. Apart from this basic discussion, also we will understand about our basic structure of API development in which we will learn all about our use cases and conditional logic. Like how can we create an API and how to proceed step by step to execute inside our tool. And we will use our Postman tool to check our API as well as to create our APIs we will use VS Code Editor. According to, you, according to your need, also you can switch the softwares. But the concept is all about to develop our APIs inside Geek PHP 4. We will understand in a clear way inside this course. So by the combination of first phase of API development and second phase of API development, where including these phases, we can see API development without any authentication, API development with authentication, these two steps, these two phases give you a strong knowledge of API development. So hopefully we will meet in the next session. So for this video session guys, thank you for watching and have a great day.